Hi everybody, I'm back and today I'm going to show you all how to make a lemon butter glazed salmon. Here's what you will need. You will need fresh salmon. You will need two lemons. This lemon here, I've taken the juice out because you will need the juice of one lemon. You will need Old Bay seasoning, salt, black pepper, garlic powder. You will need real butter and you will need parsley okay so now i have a pan over here on my stove that i'm getting ready to let me show you i'm going to turn that on a medium high heat so we can get this pan nice and heated up before we get started i have put just a little tiny bit of oil in the bottom of my pan so that my salmon does not stick only just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan is all you will need if you don't have a non-stick pan. What you want to do first is go in and season up your salmon. Season it up well. I'm going in with salt. Let's get a good picture in on this. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. There we go. Let's get us some salt in just like so. All right. Today we're having salmon, guys. Salmon is on the menu for today at Gina Young's house. And you want some black pepper. I like to use coarse black pepper when I'm making salmon because I like to see the flecks of the black pepper. I don't like to use ground black pepper on salmon. But if you want it to, hey, feel free to. Absolutely. Okay. Get that, sam get that pepper in on there. Just like so. All right. Next. You would like to put some garlic powder in there. Try to get the sides. There you go. Just like so. And then I like to go in with Old Bay seasoning. All right? Old Bay seasoning is so beautiful and tasty on salmon. Trust me when I tell you this, guys. Get you some Old Bay on there. Just like so. And what I'd like to do is let this sit on this salmon for at least five to seven minutes before we cook this. What I've done, I've let my salmon sit out of the refrigerator for 25 minutes to take the chill off. All right, so that your salmon doesn't go into shock when it goes into that hot pan. So what you do is you take it out ahead of time and let your salmon rest. And that way it can relax when it gets into that hot pan. All right, you're going to have some nice, flaky, beautiful, tender salmon. I'm going to show you all how to do this. This is so easy. And now one thing that you definitely want to do, when you're making the brown butter sauce today, you definitely need to use real butter, okay? You can't use margarine, all right, because we're going to make brown butter today, and that's what you will need. <clears throat> So then, what I need to do, I'm waiting on my pan to heat up, and then we'll get started. Be right back. Okay, everybody. Now, my pan is nice and hot the way I want it. So then we're going to go in with four tablespoons of your butter. All right. There's one. And we want to get this nice and golden brown. What you'll start to see is the milk solid starting to fall to the bottom and get nice and brown. That's when you know that you have a brown butter. Okay? Alright, there's three. And here's four tablespoons. <clears throat> of your butter be patient like I always like to tell you all patience is the key to good cooking if you just be patient and trust that everything's going to turn out fine hey it'll turn out fine don't stress in this kitchen guys there's nothing to stress out about especially these recipes that I make in this kitchen they're all so easy so much fun and yet so tasty guys trust me on that Okay, so what we're going to do, I have this up on a medium high. We're going to let it get nice and brown. And I'll show you the brown milk solids that uh, begin to fall to the bottom. And that's going to indicate 
and let us know, hey, it's time to put your salmon in. And what we're going to do is we're going to put um, the skin up, okay? We want to get that, the, the part that we're going to show, we want to get that part cooked first. Once this becomes nice and brown, I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, now I want to show you, as you can see, you're starting to see the brown milk solids that's starting to fall to the bottom. That's what you call a brown butter. So now at this time, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and put our salmon in skin up. All right? Just like so. And once you put it on there, don't go in messing with it with a fork or a spatula. Just let it be. And what will happen if you let it be... Um, it will not stick to your pan. If you go in right now, tugging at it and pulling at it with a fork and a spatula, it's going to start to stick to your pan, and then you'll have a problem on your hands. All right? So now, one thing that I've done, let me show you. I've taken a knife, and you can see where I scored this right there. Can you see that? I put one score into the skin. And what that's going to do for us is it is going to help for our skin not to seize up. When the skin seizes up, your um, your fish or your salmon will kind of turn out this way instead of nice and flat, all right? So now our fish will remain flat because we put the score in there, all right? And now, if you all are someone that don't like the skin, cut the skin off. It's very simple to cut that skin off, okay? But me and my family over here, we don't mind the skin, so we leave it on, all right? Now, I purchased this salmon at Kroger's today, and for this size piece, cost me $10.30, which is not bad at all. Absolutely. That, that, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I like. I like to get a good deal, especially when I'm eating healthy. You know, a lot of fruits and healthy foods and things like that are very expensive, and so I was so grateful to be able to get this for $10. That's a perfect price for me. Absolutely. I think it was, what was it, $7.99 a pound, I believe. I believe. Now, I'm just going to take just a little quick peek, okay? And now, what you're looking for, let me bring the camera and see if I can show you what I'm looking for. Okay, now, and I'll use this fork as my indicator. Can you see right there where it's starting to cook? And it'll get lighter and lighter the more that it cooks. We want for the cooked part, the light part, to come at least to the middle. Okay, not all the way up to the middle, but that lets us know that one side is done. But I'll show you that before we turn it. All right? Meanwhile, over here, that lemon that I showed you, I have juiced the one lemon. All right? And I'm going to need to take the zest of a half of a lemon because we're going to need this zest to put into our beautiful sauce. Okay? And make sure you don't use the pith. And what the pith is, is the, the white part of the zest. We only want the yellow part. Alright? You got to have this in your sauce in order for you to achieve the flavor that we're looking for. Okay? And that right there, let's get a little tiny bit more. Okay. Beautiful. That's the perfect amount. If I need to use um, some of this lemon, I'll let you know if I decide to use some juice of this lemon. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it just in case I need it. All right, let's peek back over into here. I have my heat on a medium, just a slightly over medium temperature. All right, I'm going to take a peek. I'm not going to go in pushing at it, but I do want to look at it. All right, this is exactly, well, let's see. We're going to give it about two more minutes because the ideal is to cook one side for four to five minutes and the other side for about uh, maybe three to four minutes. Okay, and you will have the most perfect flaky salmon you have ever had. And look how beautiful this butter is. It's nice and brown, and it's not burning. Okay, now, what you can do wrong 
is you can turn this heat up too high and your butter will burn. So make sure you don't have this up on high. We're gonna go in and go ahead and turn them. All right, just like so. And be very gentle with it, okay? Because you don't want this to break. Once you turn it over, let it be. All right, I'm gonna turn this one over just like so. Oh, that's beautiful. That's exactly what I'm looking for, guys. There we go, awesome. Okay. Beautiful. And you will notice if you go in and you try to push it right now, it won't move because it's developing a nice sear onto it. So don't, don't like I said, don't tug at it. Beautiful. Let's come over here. And what I would like to do is go in with my, I have this flat leaf parsley, fresh. I'm gonna go ahead and chop it up as fine as I can. All right, and I have um, slices of lemon for garnish, and I have fresh parsley again for garnish, okay? And what they can do with the um, lemon garnish is they can squeeze that on top of their um, salmon if they like to. All right, just like so. Get it small as you can, okay? Oh yeah, I'm in the mood for salmon, guys, and I know a lot of you have asked me, how do you make salmon, Gina? So I'm here to show you all today. Absolutely, I hope you all are having a great day today. And tonight I got another good video. You all have asked me for this video. I got a good video coming for you tonight. All right, let's take a peek in at our salmon. And it's looking just fine. Just let it be, guys. Don't go in messing. Don't go in messing with it. I have a nice platter here that I would like to wash off and I'm gonna use to plate up my salmon. Let me wash that platter off and I'll be right back, guys. Okay, everyone, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna put the juice of the one lemon that we have. Let, let me zoom out just a little. We're gonna put the juice of the one lemon right on in. Okay? Just like so, you're gonna get a little bit of steam, but that steam will leave. All right, we're gonna put a tablespoon of butter in just like so okay we're gonna put a little bit of our parsley into our sauce just like this and we're gonna let this simmer down hoo -wee. guys you hear me now at this point what you can definitely do you can put you a teaspoon just a teaspoon of honey in there and hoo -wee. you guys hear me Oh, you put that honey in there, you're taking it to another level. I'm not gonna do honey today, okay? Because I'm doing a brown butter lemon sauce, all right? If you want to do the honey brown butter lemon sauce, then you put you a teaspoon of honey in there. Oh, baby, look at this, you hear me? You guys ain't tasting nothing like this. Woo! And it's beautiful. And what that butter will do, that butter will help for this sauce to come together. All right, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. It'll help our sauce to come together, get nice and thick, and it'll be so beautiful. You hear me? I'm gonna taste my sauce and make sure it tastes the way that I want it to be. Okay, and if I feel like I need to season my sauce, then I'll do that, all right? Just like so. All right, beautiful. Let's go in and taste this. You got that brown butter. You got that lemon, guys. Whew. Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, ho! Mm hmm. Ooh, that. Mmm. Mmm, beautiful. Mmm. Perfect. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna let this sauce reduce down. It'll reduce down, it's gonna get nice and thick. I'm getting ready to try this for you all. I'm gonna let you know what it tastes like. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you click on that notification bell so that you 
can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Absolutely. Because I'm always, guys, I am I'm wiping my counter down over here. I'm always uploading something awesome in this kitchen. Woo! Oh yeah, baby. Okay, I'm going to take these out. I'm going to plate them up, guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, here's our salmon. Let's go ahead and put some of this lemon butter glaze right on top, just like so. Not too much, just enough, just to moisten it up. All right, look at this, guys. Oh my goodness, when is the last time you all had salmon? But the question is, have you had it like this, guys? If you haven't, you better make you some. You hear me? Woo! All right, I'm going to make a plate up. Give this a taste, and I'll be right back. Oh, yeah. Okay, everyone, sorry about that. I thought that I had the video on pause. Let's dig in. I got my eye on one, guys. I got my eye on the biggest one. <laughs> that is so greedy of me. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to grab this one, though. All right. Let's go in. I got to let you guys look at this. Look at how beautiful. Oh, yeah. Look at this, guys. You see that? I didn't come to play with them today. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I didn't. Oh, one thing. I got to make a thumbnail, guys, before I taste this. I got to have a thumbnail picture, okay? Let's make my picture for my video. Then we'll go in and taste. How is that? I think that's beautiful. That gets me even more excited. All right. There it is. Woo. Scoot that bad boy aside. And we're going to get dig in. And you all know I had to have some green beans with this. I got to let you all taste the first bite. Absolutely. Okay, first thing that I want to do, let's look at how flaky. Oh, there it is, guys. Oh, my goodness. Let me lift this up to the camera. Look at how flaky and beautiful. Look at this, guys. Taste that right there. Oh, my goodness. You see that? Hoo-wee. Mmm. 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 It just falls apart like butter, guys. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Taste right there. You get a lot of flavor right there on the top of that. Mm, let me all know what you think about this video. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. Mmm. 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 I didn't come to play with them today, guys. Gotta have some green beans on the side, some nice, fresh string beans. Mmm, 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 mmm. Taste that right there, guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I got, oh my goodness. I gotta go in right here. Look at this beautiful, flaky, tender, flavorful. Woo! Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I have outdone myself. I have outdone myself. Look at this, guys. It's beautiful. And if you don't want the skin, look look what it'll do. That skin will stay there. You don't have to have it. Oh. 
Mm, mm, mm. Man, is it good. Oh, God bless this food. Thank you, Jesus, for feeding me. All your blessings taking care of me and keeping me safe every day of my life. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Nice fresh green beans are perfect with the salmon, guys. Look at this. Mm. Let me flake that one more time. Oh, man, is this good. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. Woo, taste that brown lemon butter sauce right there, guys. Woo. Mm, 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 mm. And as always, God bless. Mm, mm, mm. Have a great night. And thank you all for watching. Good night.